What's going on YouTube? This is the big reveal of what is in this box right here. Or you can read it, it says it's a, it's a lathe. Now what the hell am I doing with a wood lathe? Couple of things. First of all, like I'm old. I'm not even old, I'm like 36. But apparently drinking alcohol is not a hobby. And even though I disagree with that, it is a hobby. Some people are pros at it. I like to think I'm up there. But so for most of my life, my hobbies have consisted of drinking alcohol, working a lot, and going to school and accumulating college degrees. So that's been my hobby for the past 18 years. So I got on the internet one day and saw some crazy video of some guy turning a piece of wood into like a bowl or something using one of these, a wood lathe. And I was going, I could do that. I should totally look into that. First of all, I don't know anything about wood lathing. I didn't even take shop class in high school. I took home ec, like a, like a champ. And that, I didn't get anything out of that. Anyway, uh, so I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about wood turning. I don't know anything about machinery. Like for my video you guys saw yesterday, I don't, I could barely put together my bench. That was a struggle. And now I have a wood lathe. So this is a entry level wood lathe. This is like, I picked this thing up off Home Depot after doing some research on the internet. And the biggest reason I got it is because when you're old and you have money and your parents aren't there to tell you you can't do something, you go ahead and do it. Cause that's what you do. That's what I'm gonna do. Dogs over here taking a poop in my neighbor's yard. Eh, it'll be fine. But it kind of goes back to that old saying, remember when you were a kid, like in the 80s, this was before the internet, like you would see something cool. Like I remember a lot of the time, like watching Ninja Turtles with my thing. Like I was like, oh my God, I want to be a damn Ninja Turtle. So I'd go take my mom's broomstick and then I would like spin it around and then accidentally hit my brother in the face with it and then I get my ass beat. This is like the same thing, except now I have the internet and I'm gonna do stupid stuff I saw on the internet that that I think is cool. So I'm gonna get into wood lathing. So I'm gonna unbox this, go over the bits and parts of it and see, see what we can lathe with my wood lathe and try not to lose my fingers and these fingers. All right, so let me take it out of the box and then I'll show you and set it up. Uh, so I'm already having problems. So when I put it on there, I thought it was right side up, but it's upside down. This thing is a hundred damn pounds. You should have seen my little skinny little legs and arms trying to lift this thing to put it on the bench. I'm pretty sure I just made my back problems worse. So we're already having problems. Nah, we'll fix it. All right, so we got it out of the box and then you come over here. Ah, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is the, you know, the box it came in. It looks all nice and fancy. Blah, blah, blah. And there's a warning on the top. It says, read manual before use. Yeah, you think I'm gonna do that? I don't think so. All right, so then you come over here. This is basically the setup. You know, this is the lathe when it comes straight out of the box. You know, it comes with the, with the punch. It comes with a banjo right there. And then all these accessory parts that I need to set it up first. So I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll, once I get the lathe kind of set up and established, this is just what it looks like out of the box. Uh, anyway, so I'll get that set up. All right, see you in the next clip. <sighs> All right, a little bit of an update YouTube. The assembly is not going the way I had imagined. So, it, you remember how I was like, fuck the instruction manual, don't, don't read that shit. Oh God, okay, so this is what happened. So this part right here is the face plate of the lathe. It attaches here to this part here. But in order to get it off, you have to take a wrench and, and take it off. Now, it came with an Allen screwdriver, this little thing right here, but there are bolts that are like locked into the sides of this, which loosens it. And it's there's a safety mechanism, so when you're turning the wheel, it doesn't come flying off. So I'm over here trying to freaking take this wrench, take the face plate off, because I don't need a face plate. The face plate basically works when you attach. You're gonna screw this onto a piece of wood, a larger piece of wood that you're working with. But, so I'm trying to take the face plate off and 
realizing I'm screwing up this thing. So of course, what did I do? Went to the instruction manual and then watched another YouTube video on how to properly assemble this thing. So we're almost there. Just got a couple things to work out and then we can turn it on and get the motor going. All right. Oh, so the lathe is ready to go. We've assembled it. It's all the parts are put together. This is the most important part probably is making sure that everything is aligned the same way. You know what I had difficulty with forever? The back piece. So we all know righty tighty lefty loosey. At least that's, you know, what I grew up with. So I'm over here screwing and screwing it to the right, going righty tighty, righty tighty. And then what do I end up doing? I'm like, fuck it, why do I want to go in? Go lefty, bam, it comes on, no problem. So I spent an enormous amount of time trying to figure out how to put that piece on because I didn't read the damn instructions. So the lathe is set up, all the assembly is completed already on it. So it's lined up appropriately. I took the face plate off. Uh, everything's locked. Uh, if you look over here, uh, let's see. The belts are what you need to worry about apparently on these things. It's on, I haven't had a chance to look at it. Unscrew, okay, so the belt is ready to go. It's aligned properly, everything is good, so I think we're ready to turn this thing on. It says from all the YouTube videos I've seen, <laughs> or it's on the internet, it's gotta be true. Uh, to let the motor run for about 30 minutes to see, just to get the motor, I guess, accustomed to, tur to turning. So once we set the motor up uh, and I let it run, uh, then we'll be ready to do some uh, wood turning. But let's make sure that it turns on and that I don't blow my face off first. So let's do that next. All right, so here's the moment of truth. We are going to turn on the lathe for the very first time. As you can see, I got a face shield because I don't want to die. Okay, so here we go. So it's cranked up. We're going to speed it up a little bit. Looks like it's turning pretty good. Now let's crank this up just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just gonna run it for the next 30 minutes and then come back and then crank it back up. Okay, so the lathe is still going. You see it's still turning, it's doing really well. The table's not shaking. Everything seems to be working pretty good. I've let the motor run for about 30 minutes now. It's warmed up, it's spinning and doing what it needs to do. So I'm gonna turn it off and I think we're good to go to start uh, doing, some, doing some wood turning. All right, hold on. Whew, okay, so the house didn't blow up. I didn't die, I didn't lose an eye. So the lathe works, it is ready to go. So, since I don't know anything about wood turning, I've never done it before, I have put together a lathe without killing myself, which is, I mean, that's victory all by itself. No, nobody's died so far. Uh, so, uh, typically what you would do is put blocks of wood, you know, on the lathe, turn it, turn it on, and start, uh, start turning wood. But, I'm gonna start with styrofoam, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, and I don't want to put a f***ing hard piece of wood on there and then kill myself. So, I'm gonna start with this, and see how that goes. Uh, so I, I'm all set up, you saw the face shield that I got. I've got my uh, wood turning chisels uh, and then my respirator because 
yeah, the VA is not gonna give me any disability for inhaling wood chunks, but yeah. Anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there. Uh, so in the next video, I'm gonna do my first uh, turning with this. I'll show you guys that. Uh, I'm gonna close the video out now, but the lathe is set up, the workbench is good, the dog is excited about it, uh, and I'm gonna try not to die. But we'll see how this goes. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.